Hello, I'm Mark Whitbread, Consultant Paramedic for the London Ambulance Service. I'll be walking you through the pit crew and the so-called circular life concept in this educational video. The pit crew model was designed to bring more efficiency, speed, structure and organisation to the way EMS manages out-of-hospital cardiac arrests. Here we will be looking at a cardiac arrest scenario where a bystander has already commenced CPR. Hello, my name's Nick. I'm a paramedic for the ambulance service. What's your name? My name's Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Catherine, what's happened? Uh, I found him collapsed on the floor. You found him collapsed. Can you just stop for a second so I can check, yes. please? The pit crew model is inspired by Formula One racing, where the car pulls into the pit lane and each member of the team knows exactly what to do, when to do it and how to do it. The key to carrying this out effectively is to make sure the patient is accessible from 360 degrees. In many situations, this means the patient will first have to be safely dragged or moved from their initial position. So in a minute, I'll get you to pause just so I can get the top off, OK? I'll put some pads on the chest. OK. So pause just very quickly. And straight back on the chest for you. Doing an excellent job. Keep going through the compressions. Excellent. Ventilate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliver a shock. Okay. okay. So in a minute, the machine will alarm. When it alarms, I'll tell you to stand back. Okay. We'll deliver a shock, and then as soon as the shock's delivered, I'd like you to go straight back on the chest, please. Is that okay. right? Yeah. Okay. So stand back, stand clear, and straight back on the chest, please. So I'm going to do a few other bits now. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. Ventilate. Ventilate. Excellent. So what we're going to do now, you've probably heard that it's telling us to ventilate. Three, so every two, time we ventilate, one, you pause ventilate. and I'm going to do two breaths. Ventilate. That's it. And then go straight back onto the chest. All okay. right. Yep. Well done. Doing a really good job. Okay. Oh, excellent. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Nick. This is Catherine. Hi. Hello, Nick. Hello, Catherine. Adult male found in cardiac arrest by Catherine. Yep. Good bystander CPR. She's received one shock so Three, far. Two, okay, thank one. you. We're coming up to another analysis now. Nick, this is Chris. Ben Hello, Chris. Paul. And I'm Mick. Hello, Mick. Hello, Paul. Nick, do you want me to take over compressions on the next Yeah, one? we could do. If Mick's happy, yep. we'll do an analysis okay. when Mick's ready, and then we'll get you to take Brilliant. over. Okay. Nick, if you just continue whilst I'll get the checklist okay, out. OK, no problem. So, Catherine, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pause to analyse. Mm -hmm. During that pause, Chris is going to take ventilate. over the chest compression. All right? So, pause in two breaths. Ventilate. That's still VF. Chris, are you happy to take over D defib? And we'll do two-handed. So, we need to deliver a shot now. OK, so VF on the screen, charging to 360. That's lovely. Thank you very much, Paul. Here, we see the pit crew concept in action. OK, stand clear, auction away, shocking. With each paramedic positioned around the patient in such a way that they can provide the most effective care possible. The paramedic in position one carries out the initial assessment, begins CPR, ventilating in the off cycle with the two hand mask seal. At position two, the paramedic is ready and takes care of the airway, as well as alternating chest compressions with the bystander or paramedic at position three. At position three, we have a paramedic operating the life pack defibrillator, as well as alternating chest compressions. At position four, we have our team leader. They are ideally positioned in the circle to get a clear view of proceedings, provide direction, and assist where required. Note how each paramedic is unobstructed. Three, two, one, ventilate. Yeah, we're getting good chest rise, Mick. Which cycle are we up to, please, Nick? Uh, this is now the first cycle post that shock. Three, Second shock. Two, one, Paul, ventilate. when you've finished the kit dump for the ventilate. airway, will you let me know, please? Good yep. chest rise. Communication is calm and concise at all times. This is the second cycle. Ventilate. Mick, we're just coming up to two minutes. Would you like me to do um, an analysis? Please. Yes, please. Ventilate. Chris, would you mind kneeling down next to Paul? 
Here you can see the Lucas II mechanical chest compression device being deployed. When using such a device, it is important that staff are trained to use it effectively to ensure minimal interruption in chest compressions. Paul, will you take over the airway from Nick? Okay, please? I'm happy Nick to come in if you're okay. okay yep. no Nick, would you mind deploying the mechanical device? Yes, no problem at all. While well, I'm getting it, Mick, is it alright if we clear some space? Yes, so of course. Deploy it? Thank you. Catherine, would you mind assisting and just moving all this equipment just back, please, for me? Just drag it all the way back, thank you. Brilliant, thank you. Excellent, thank you very much. Good box wave form, 2.2 kilopascals at the moment, Mick. Thank you. Mickey, I hope you've asked the guys to do some bits. So we yes, please. Deploy. Lovely, okay. Guys, we're going to deploy the Lucas device. Um, we need to get the patient's arms into the crucifix position. Is that all right? So I'll move this, the patient's one nearest to me. Chris, you have to move that one? Lovely, yep. back on the chest. So the next step is we need to sit the patient up so we can apply the backboard and we need to get all the clothes out of the way. Paul, you'll be in charge of the lift. Okay, the I'll take the airway for you, yeah. Thank you. Chris, you'll take the side nearest you. I'll take this side and we'll deploy the yellow board. Are you happy for this to go, Mick? Yes, please. Lovely. Okay, Paul, you're in charge. We need to minimise okay, time off the I'm chest. happy to go if you're ready. Ready, when you are. Okay, ready, brace, lift. Ready, brace, down. Lovely. Back on the chest. Thank you, Chris. Okay, Mick, we've still got a box waveform which would indicate the ET tube's still in situ. Thank you. Chris, I'm going to come between your arms with this. Don't stop CPR. Mick, can you happy that that's uh, in the centre of the patient's chest? Ventilate. Yes, I'm happy. Lovely, thank you. Chris, can you just pause CPR for a minute? Ventilate. I'm putting this on continuous because we've got an advanced airway. Thank you. Chris, can you event mark that and turn off the metronome, please? Ventilate. And Paul... You... I'll ventilate to the um, mechanical device. Lovely. Chris, it's strap coming through there. Absolutely. Chris, once you've done that, can you get me an adrenaline ready, please? Chris, yeah. Okay, Mick, we have a slight rise in tidal CO2. It's uh, 2.7 kilopascals now. Thank with you. With a lovely box waveform. Thank you. Brilliant.